A solitary figure stood upon the sand with a broken sword held in her hand with a proud look and head held high but with a heart that longed to cry. Often she glanced across the sand across the barren and lonely land to a headless body apart for own by whose side she had grown to a tiny grave that near broke her heart to a strewn body torn apart and often she glanced at the riverside to where her brother Abbas had died then she would look far away to where the grave of her father lay suddenly she saw a cloud of sand she clutched the sword tight in her hand a rider from Najaf began to near she was bold and had no fear bravely she stepped forward and said leave us O stranger our family is dead but the stranger came nearer and nearer still with fiery anger Zainab was filled O stranger do not torment us more there is still more torture for us in store our situation do you not see go O stranger listen to me but the stranger approached at a galloping pace and lifted his cloak away from his face there before her stood her father Ali his eyes were filled with tears she could see Zainab to protect you I have come Zainab, my child, what have they done? But Zainab, her grief could no longer control. She told of her pain with heart and soul. Oh, Father, look how late you have come. Look at the massacre that has been done. Where were you when Qasim died? When Abbas was killed by the riverside? When Ali Azra's neck was pierced by an arrow? When our hearts were filled with ache and sorrow? When Sakina's earrings were ripped from her ears? When she cried out with streaming tears? When our tents were burnt by Yazid's forces, when friends were crushed under the hooves of horses, when Hussein's head was raised on a spear, oh my father, did you not hear? Did you not see our burning tents, our call, our plea? Oh my father, now you come. Look, look, the carnage has been done. She was weeping and sobbing with all her heart as she told the story of her grieving heart. When she raised her head from the ground, she could hear not a single sound. Stillness hovered in the humid air as the wind ruffled her silver hair. She knew once more she was alone. Silently she stood in that vast unknown. She cleared her eyes so she could see, raised her head and cried, Ya Ali, Ali, Ali.